iPadOS 17 is bringing some big changes to the iPad. Not only can you do lock screen widgets and interactive home screen widgets, but you get live activities on the home screen, stage manager improvements, the health app has come to iPad, and you can even use external webcams with your iPad in iPadOS 17. Let's jump into it. First up is lock screen widgets and customizations. Now when you tap and hold on the lock screen here on iPad, you can add widgets here in the left hand sidebar and there's lots of room for widgets especially on these larger screens. Tapping on the left sidebar brings up the widget menu. And again, all those lock screen widgets you're familiar with, you can now add them right here on the left hand sidebar. Even third party widgets like from Fantastical are already available here for the iPad and you can just stack them up there. And because the health app has now come to iPad, you also get health widgets, things like medications. And just like the iPhone, you can customize the font, color, and some of the widgets here even on the top of the lock screen. And the new astronomy wallpaper is awesome. You can choose what planet you'd like to have here on your lock screen, zoom it in a little bit. And of course you can customize that with your home screen. You can choose to blur the background. Just love all these new lock screen features. You can also use a live photo for the lock screen. We'll actually show the motion when you first unlock your iPad. Then after the motion shows, you can go to your home screen and you can have that background blurred as well. Just to show you again with a live photo on the lock screen, you'll actually get to see that motion right here on the big screen, really nice. Also like the iPhone, you can tie certain lock screens to your focus modes. So I have my filming focus mode going on right now and I can make sure that this is the lock screen and home screen with wallpaper that will appear when I'm in my filming mode. All right, number two, we have interactive widgets here on the iPad, also on the iPhone with iOS 17. That's especially useful with these new home widgets. So I have all of my HomeKit accessories here. This is the larger home widget. You can choose whether or not you want the widget to actually recommend devices or you can turn recommendations off and then add specific scenes and devices here to the widget. They'll resize depending on how many you choose to be here in the widget. Or again, you can go back to recommended devices and scenes and it'll just intelligently show the ones it thinks you want. For instance, I could turn on the fan light here in the studio and I don't have to open the home app. All I have to do is tap the widget because it's interactive. I don't have to open the apps. Also with interactive widgets like reminders, I can tap a to do to mark it as done without actually jumping into the app. Third parties will have access to an API so they can make interactive widgets as well. Long awaited feature, so glad it's here. And we also have live activities on the lock screen here on the iPad now. I have a timer set right now for five minutes and when I go to the lock screen, I'll see that timer live right here on the iPad screen. If you have things like Uber, flight tracking with Flighty, you'll also see those live activities here on your iPad home screen. I can cancel the timer or pause it right there. A great place to have live activities there on the iPad. Next up is external camera support. Previously, you can connect a USB microphone to the iPad and use that in recording software, things like Riverside, but now you can actually connect external webcams to your iPad as well. For instance, I can jump into the FaceTime app and you'll see it'll automatically go to the front facing camera. You see in my top down camera shot there. But I'm gonna take the Logitech Stream Cam, it's just a USB-C webcam, and when I plug that into the iPad, it will actually automatically switch to the webcam and now you're actually seeing the footage from the webcam directly on the iPad. This is gonna be huge, especially if you're recording, you can get a high quality webcam with your iPad and you're not dependent on that front facing camera. Before we jump into the stage manager improvements and the health app coming to iPad, I wanna thank today's video sponsor, Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and seen the information that comes up just available and accessible to anyone? I Googled myself and I have a lot of stuff online, but I also found like my childhood home phone number, which is wild, I haven't used that in years, but also found some other really sensitive information that I don't want out there on the internet. And that's where today's sponsor, Aura, comes in. Data brokers are making a fortune selling your information to robocallers, scammers, and anyone who wants your personal information, like where you live and your address, this way they can spam you. Aura can identify those data brokers that are exposing your information and send opt-out requests. Those brokers are legally required to remove your information once they get their request, but they make it super hard. That's why you can let Aura handle it for you. You can try Aura for free for two weeks using my link, aura.com slash beardedfm. That link is also in the video description. You could just click it there. Aura also does so much more to protect you and your family from online threats you can't see. It's really easy to set up. You don't have to download several different apps to get things like parental controls, antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more. You get everything at one affordable price. They'll even monitor your credit and bank accounts and alert you of suspicious transactions. I have several different apps that do this, but I like having it all in one place with Aura. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on the tasks that are really important. So stop letting people and companies profit off your private information. 
Go to Aura.com slash BeardedFM and you can start your two-week trial today. That link is also in the video description. My thanks to Aura for sponsoring this video. Back to iPadOS 17, let's talk about the improvements to Stage Manager. I'll be honest, I haven't been using Stage Manager a whole lot, but you can enable it here in the Control Center. And now in iPadOS 17, you actually get a lot more flexibility when resizing windows and moving them. If I jump into a stage with multiple windows, you can actually see I get a lot more granular control and I can place the window exactly where I want it here on the screen, which is really nice. Even resizing windows is much less limited, so I can choose exactly how big I want the window and again, place it wherever I would like. I can tap other windows to bring them to the forefront, move them around much easier, and again, resizing is much easier as well. Here I'll add another Mastodon window, make that a different size. Maybe I'll do a little YouTube window. I can resize that. And here's just a bunch of different windows kind of overlapped however I would like. As you tap them kind of in the background, they will jump around a little bit. It might be hard to find some of the ones you had before. But again, much more flexible here in iPadOS 17 and looking forward to maybe trying it again long term. Next, the Health app is coming to iPad. Even in the first beta here of iPadOS 17, you have the Health app right here. Really nice display of information. You can customize what cards appear here on the summary screen. And because you have a much larger screen, it looks really great here on the iPad. See things like sleep, resting heart rate, mindfulness minutes. And like announced in the keynote, you'll actually be able to track or log your emotions or mood here in the Health app. You can say how you're feeling right now or how you felt overall today. I'll say uh, slightly pleasant. I'm gonna hit skip on that. I'm not sure what to choose. And I'll hit done. And then you can log that in certain points of the day. And the health app will aggregate all the information it has, like your sleep tracking, your activity, exercise, and your mood to see how those other factors play into how you feel mood-wise and your mental well-being. Pretty cool. Again, really nice graphs here, especially on the iPad when it comes to things like sleep tracking. And you'll be able to manage medications here on the iPad as well. And with those lock screen widgets, really helpful to remind you about when to take those. Finally, you'll be able to manage PDFs and autofill fields in PDFs even faster with iPadOS 17. Here, I'll take a PDF like a W9 form you might have. I'll save this to the desktop of my iCloud drive. Now that I've opened the PDF here on my iPad, I can actually select this autofill. It will automatically recognize the fields and suggest my contact info. So I can just start tapping to fill it in the fields that it recognized. As you tap fields like address and phone number, it will automatically suggest that information from your contact card. will make it super quick to fill in PDFs like this. Those are some of the big changes coming to iPadOS 17. Plus it's getting a lot of the improvements in iOS 17. You can check out my video covering the top five features of iOS 17 above, or check out that link in the description, but lots of updates to messages. You'll be able to share passwords with trusted contacts, share AirTag and find my items, and a ton more. Let me know what are your favorite features in iPadOS or iOS 17 down in the comments. And if you have any questions about the beta software, I'd love to answer them here in a video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.